hey lovely people what's up welcome back to another video happy new year to all of you i wish you all the best i hope everyone is doing great welcome back to kiol guys in today's video we will be discussing about uh, uh, plumbing work in the bathroom talking about a whole bunch of tips and tricks that you guys really need to know when you guys are plumbing in the bathroom we are using an ospec crimping tools and we will be discussing through a lot about the usage of these tools and <clears throat> we will be also going through the material a whole bunch of things that you guys really need to get the job done so as you guys can see i have got uh, this bathroom behind me brand new bathroom that i need to do the plumbing work and shower head vanity and the toilet stay tuned till the end of the video and i hope this video will be helpful to you guys and hope you will learn something from this video which you will definitely so guys i'm gonna now show you the the material the the parts the plumbing parts that uh, i'm actually using for this bathroom first of all uh, to start with we we definitely need these uh, crimping tools uh, it's about 300 dollars uh, you guys can get this from reese plumbing which is very useful very useful if you guys have one of these tools you don't really need a plumber will save a lot of money which is great guys uh, i've got my tools here and the material that i need for this job my spade drill bits uh, to cut a hole through the timbers and i've got my pipe cutter and i obviously i need these joiners i've got the ceiling tape and my drills and obviously my pipes and the mixer for the shower guys and they will be all crimped by these tools so guys these are the, the material and the tools you guys really need for this particular job to get done this is how we are going to apply those materials so i've done my little sketch up here so this will be my mixer here and these will be the joiners and these are the pipe and here's my toilet guys this will be my toilet area a, uh, connection for the toilet here and this is this is the vanity hot and cold this is the vanity so this this is just a rough sketch up guys we will be applying all my material the same way that i have done my, on my sketch up so guys let's jump onto the work without wasting any time and let's get it done all right people so now i am in the bathroom so the sketchup i have done this is the wall that all my plumbing work which will be done inside this wall so i've got the vanity here i'll be doing two two connection for hot and cold water for the vanity i've got my toilet here and i need to run a pipe for this toilet this is the main thing we have got the shower here the shower head will be here and I need my mixer installed somewhere right here. So my mixer will be somewhere like one meter from the ground to, to the mixer. I need to cut a timber and install here to support my mixer. Guys, we are going to cut a hole through this section to access for our external pipes. Another important tip when you are installing the mixer it's very important uh, that the frame of this mixer is flush with the <clears throat> your main timber if it's sticking out you're gonna have a big problem when you are sheeting the wall so it's got to be really flush to cover this uh, frame of the mixer or you can simply measure the depth of the mixer which is 25 mm basically leave 25 mm off this edge all right guys that's strong and solid 
The size of the shower is 900 from the wall. So guys, I will be putting the mixer right in the middle of the shower recess wall. The size of the shower is 900 from the wall, middle of the wall, which is 450. Yes, now we are installing the joiners. This one is a straight joiners going from mixer to the shower head. Alright guys, now we are doing the side joints, which are uh, uh, like an elbow joints, uh, it's the hot and cold uh, joints. Uh, again, these are got threads and we are obviously doing the sealing tape truly for both. And it's very important, make sure you guys really seal it properly as you don't want to have a leakage issue in the future. As you can see this is my hot and cold so my mixer will go into the wall just like that so this this one is going straight to the shower head cold and hot found the center of the wall which is right here in the mark now I am going to run my pipe through these holes Push the pipe about uh, five to six inches uh, outside the wall. Just bring the camera close. This, the purpose of this hole is to make sure your pipe is going all the way to the end when you are installing the pipes if you actually don't see the pipe which means it's not right so you have to push the pipe all the way with that holes so that's the correct position of the pipe all right guys i'm now uh, connecting the cold water Now I have uh, done my cutting for the mixer and now I need to drill a few holes to do my connection for the toilet and for the vanities. Alright guys, uh, now I'm using my T-joints. So guys, same thing applies to all the joiners. It's got all the holes here, small holes. Hit my energy to keep moving. So same thing apply for uh, for this uh, connection. Make sure this pipe connection is flush with the with the timber. It doesn't stick out like that, or you don't want it too much uh, inside. Otherwise, you will have a problem with the shortage of this thread. So guys, we're gonna cut this section of the timber to run our pipe through.
these are called 19 joiners the final connection for my internal plumbing prior to start crimping so my shower head is done now perfectly that's the mixer toilet and my vanity gonna put another timber support for the back of my shower head so i can screw my uh, 19 into that timber prior to crimping i have done all my cutting and installation of the joiners now i'm going to crimp all the joiners by using head crimping tool That's it. And now we are moving to the next one. So guys, make sure when you are crimping the edge of the crimping section, like where you need to crimp, make sure it's flush with the crimper tool. Just like that. And now it's ready to be pressed gently. We are moving to the next one, which is toilet connection. Double check, make sure it's all the way in. Here is the back of the bathroom wall. So I've got the cold and hot water. Uh, so it's all ready for the next connection to be run uh, through. So we have, we have left plenty of pipes to play with. And yeah guys, that's all so much for staying with us. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's the end of our video, pretty much. And make sure to double check before you guys really close the wall. Make sure they are all being crimped properly otherwise it's gonna be a whole uh, bunch of stories thank you so much for tuning and watching our videos we really do appreciate and to those who are new to our channel thank you so much for coming and welcome and see you guys in the next video cheers